swing open the front panel and remove the grate from the bottom of the warmer. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the eight fan cover screws. Note that the screws do not have slots, therefore a screwdriver cannot be used. Carefully open up the cover to the right side of the fan being mindful of the capillary. Using the 1 8 inch Allen wrench, loosen the fan screw but do not remove it. Pull the fan off its post as shown. Use the 3 8 inch nut driver to remove the two nuts behind the fan. On the back of the warmer, use the 3 8 inch nut driver to loosen, but not remove, both nuts on the motor bracket. Use the quarter inch nut driver to remove three of the four screws of the electrical panel, then pivot the cover out of the way. Remove the black plastic bumpers from the motor bracket. Use the 11 32nd inch nut driver to loosen and remove the two hex nuts. Place your hand inside the machine and hold the left screw to prevent it from falling into the machine. The motor should then come free. Place it on top of the machine to keep it out of the way. Use the flathead screwdriver to loosen the two screws holding the utility box cover. Rotate the cover slightly, then remove. The two cables for the motor are on the right side in the second and third position. Using the flathead, loosen the two cable screws and pull the wires from under the screws. Clip the ends of the wires using the wire cutter tool. This will allow you to pull the wires out completely and remove the old motor. Place the new motor on top and prep the wires by pulling them apart 4 to 5 inches. Twist the ends of each wire before feeding both wires through the hole and into the utility box. Spay each terminal and crimp using the crimping tool. Slide the terminals under the screws. Note that the wires can be placed in any order. Use the flathead screwdriver to tighten the screw down on each of the terminals. Replace the utility box cover and tighten down the screws using the flathead screwdriver. Place the new motor into the slots provided, then swing the motor bracket into place. Start by inserting the left hex screw through the hole and holding it in place with your finger. Then place the lock washer and twist the hex nut onto the screw. Continue by twisting the 11 32nd hex screws onto the motor posts. Replace the utility box panel and hand tighten the four screws by using the quarter inch nut driver. Tighten the 3 8 inch and the 11 32nd screws using the corresponding nut driver. Replace the plastic bumpers. Inside the warmer, twist the two 3 8 inch nuts onto the motor posts. With the wire cutters, snip both the posts off flush with the hex nuts. Align the flat side of the drive shaft with the fan, then push the fan onto the shaft. Pull the fan away from the back wall of the warmer about 1 8 inch to achieve the appropriate clearance. Then hand tighten the fan screw using the 1 8 inch Allen wrench. Carefully replace the fan cover, making sure all wires are tucked behind. Insert the screws and tighten. Note that the cover is attached by the thermostat bulb. When replacing the cover, it's very important that you never let the bulb touch the heating element because it will cause a short. Texican has wrapped black electrical tape around the capillary to help prevent such contact. 